My husband is a pilot and we were flying in a small two-person airplane when suddenly there was a huge explosion and smoke began pouring from the engine and oil began oozing at my feet and the plane began to shake so violently. I thought we were just gonna fall from the sky and it was obvious that we weren't gonna make it to a runway. But fortunately, my husband was able to bring the plane down on a road and miraculously, we did not crash into any cars. And as I'm on the ground, just shaking, soon we found ourselves surrounded by a half a dozen emergency vehicles with their lights flashing. And I'm trying to calm down and just kind of make light conversation. And I was talking with one of the police officers and I said, hey, so is this the first time you've ever picked up a plane on the side of the road? And he said, no but it is the first time that I've ever seen survivors. One time I took my beautiful teenage daughter in for some simple outpatient surgery. When the surgery was done, the doctor said, take her home, let her rest. A uh, little bleeding is normal, but watch for blood clots and infection. So I took her home, I put her to bed, and then every half hour or so, I'd kind of tiptoe in and just open the door and check and see how she was doing. And she was sleeping peacefully. But after a few hours, I got a text and it was from my daughter. And she said, Mom, will you come to my room? I need to show you something. And so I quickly went to her room and I said, hey, you're awake. How are you feeling? And she didn't answer me with words. Instead, she threw off the covers and she was soaked in blood from her chest all the way down to her knees. And there are not words adequate to describe the terror and the panic and the guilt that I felt because I was there. I'd been checking on her the whole time. I thought she was fine. And in reality, she was bleeding to death right under my nose. And we rushed her to the emergency room where they eventually were able to get the bleeding to stop. Um, we came home and I stripped all the sheets from her bed and started to wash. And as the water filled up in the washing machine, it was red. <laughs> it was like it was in a sea of blood. And I just leaned over the washer and I just cried. Another time, I arrived at the scene of a motorcycle accident in time to see my son's broken body lying in the middle of an intersection, surrounded by flashing lights and emergency personnel. And that is an image that I will never forget. Another night, I was awoke in the middle of the night by a phone call that my beautiful nine-month-old grandson had had a seizure, and he was not expected to make it through the night. He was being life-lighted to Primary Children's Hospital. I rushed to their home where his sweet mother was too sick to join them at the hospital, and I held her hand all night while we cried and waited for the expected phone call of his death. They performed emergency brain surgery, and he did survive, and I am so grateful. But he did sustain brain damage from this ordeal. I also have another beautiful five-month-old grandchild who was diagnosed with cancer. I have dealt with some tragedies in my life, and the ones that I've shared are just the tip of the iceberg. Is it any wonder? that I fell into depression. There was a time in my life where I didn't think I would ever be happy again. I remember times being curled up on my couch, sobbing, wishing, wishing that I could cease existing so the pain would stop. It is because of these experiences of struggling with depression, of dealing with hard things, of thinking that I would never be happy again, and then going through the process of healing 
of, of becoming myself again, of learning to love my life again. This is why I do what I do. My name is Linda Bjork, and I am an author. I am a podcast host, and I am the founder of Hope for Healing Nonprofit. Everything that I do is designed to help people to be able to be happy to live joyfully, to get through hard things, and to find happiness and success, the things that they deserve. Whether you're dealing with tragedy, abuse, depression, low self-esteem, relationship issues, or whatever, we want you to be able to find happiness again. We offer tons of free resources like ebooks, audio courses, articles, videos, and free downloadables. We really care about your happiness and your well-being. I also invite you to check out the amazing stories shared on my podcast, Linda's Corner, and grab a copy of one of my books, like Crushed, A Journey Through Depression, and Amazon bestseller, You Got This, An Action Plan to Calm Fear, anxiety, worry, and stress. You deserve to be happy, and we can show you how. Thank you.